Some of you have been wondering how long it took me personally to have my first lucid dream. Now, I don't often talk about my experiences just because I don't think it's relevant. I don't think it actually helps you. You know, if I if I were to tell you all the time, like, you know, I'm having uh, nightly lucid dreams, I'm having two hour long lucid dreams, or I mean, I'm not, but if I was, that wouldn't help you. That wouldn't motivate you. But that being said, I think it's time to answer this question. So I want to just briefly tell you how and when I had my first lucid dream. By the way, I don't mention this too often, but I do have a free video training and a free kind of PDF tutorial on lucid dreaming. Um, all you need to do to get that is to go to howtolucid.com forward slash gift. Um, the link's in the description, might be in the pinned comment. So check that out, it's, you know, it's free, so, <laughs> so uh, you can't really go wrong. So basically I had my first lucid dream instantly. And what I mean by instantly is I didn't actually know what lucid dreaming was or how to do it when I had my first lucid dream. It was by accident, it was kind of random. So when I was a kid, you may have heard the story before, um, spoken about this maybe a couple of times. I was confined to my room and it was the middle of the day I couldn't really do anything else and so I just did it through sheer intention and boredom and luck and I think this is the case for a lot of people they don't really know what lucid dreaming, dreaming is and then they have the experience and then after that they research it and figure out oh it's probably this lucid dreaming thing or maybe I can learn to do it more often or even whenever I want but the interesting thing is that when I had my first lucid dream I didn't have any I didn't use any techniques I wasn't meditating and I really wasn't doing anything that you would consider to be like an essential thing that you have to do in order to lose a dream. So why did it happen? And this is the case for a lot of people, especially when you're younger. So if you're watching this and you're between the ages of, let's say 12 and 25, okay? So let's say if you're a young person, you will find it naturally 10 times easier to lose a dream because you naturally have the awareness and the, the kind of the skills that you need to be able to lose a dream. You're naturally curious, inquisitive, you ask questions and you question your reality. But beyond that, you don't have this kind of linear thinking, this series of expectations that society places on you as you get older. So you just kind of experience things, you know? And this is why um, a lot of young people experience out-of-body experiences, lucid dreams. They find it much more easy to be creative and to, you know, come up with ideas, be inspired and, and that kind of thing. And then what happens is society as a whole kind of programs you as you get older to be more left-brained, to be, to be more connected with the logic, rationality, really the opposite of the right brain, which is creativity and inspiration, which is you kind of need both to be able to lucid dream. So that's why it's easier when you're younger, among other things. There's, you know, a huge variety of reasons. But yeah, that's probably what happened to me when I had my first lucid dream. And then of course what happened is I basically got obsessed with it, really wanted to learn more, and so I kept researching and learning how to actually do it more reliably. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means that you don't have to put as much emphasis on technique. Instead, you should put more emphasis on just being playful and inspired and motivated. I think that will do a lot for you, probably more than anything else. And I don't know if you've seen, I, I have a, a YouTube ad that I sometimes run to try and like teach more people about lucid dreaming, where I basically say, if you're trying to lucid dream using a technique, you're wrong. And the reason for that is that while techniques can be useful, they're not essential. They're just kind of like a tool that you can use if you really have to, or, you know, as a kind of a, like a bonus. They're not the foundation that you certainly don't need a technique in order to lucid dream. You don't need to wake up at 4 a.m. and, you know, count your fingers and whatever to lucid dream. You can lucid dream through sheer intention and willpower alone. I mean, this is the case this is what I did without even knowing what it was. This is what many people do. You don't need a technique. They can be useful, but you don't need them. They're not essential. So there's a lot more I could say about this. I want you to check out my free kind of video training and PDF. Go to howtolucid.com forward slash gift or just click in the link in the description and check it out. And let me know when your first lucid dream was. Like what was it actually like? And when you had it, was it random or were you actually trying to lucid dream?